Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be doing uh, something very unique. Um, what are we going to be doing with the car today? We are going to be swapping out the factory rims and tires to SI rims and tires as well as switching over um, fog lights from halogen to LED. One was already out so I just figured I'd go ahead. Um, yes, I am in the process of switching all my lights over. My headlights and my, um, my high beams and my low beams, yes, you will see later, are not LED. That's a work in progress. Um, so, we're going to be swapping over those today. And go from there. Gotcha. I am just trying to get a good view of how these things sit right now. How the car sits with the OEM wheels and tires on it at the moment. Get a good shot of it. And that sun doesn't help out too much. So, try to get a good view of everything. Alrighty, let's see here. That's probably the best shot we're gonna get. Tilt it up a little bit. Yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead and go at it. All right, all right, um, so right here, set this guy up just enough. Perfect. All right. Here's obviously the key. And if you want to do a walk around with it first to break all the lug nuts loose. Quick walk around on it and uh, go through it all, get all the lug nuts loose. Just get a better shot. There we go. Perfect. Sweet. Nicely done. Let me know. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start jacking up on this side. And don't worry, it won't affect you at all. Don't worry about it, it won't hurt anything. Perfect. Excellent. Now, give you the proper chuck. Pop this guy right here. All right. Got the rim there. She's making her way around. As you guys can see, we've already got the uh, the wheel chuck or the back patch side wheel chucked. Try to get it moving. There we go. That's good to go. She's getting her way around. All right, she's getting there. Alright, I see you got a problem there. I'm gonna slowly let it down. Because I didn't think that was gonna be a problem. There you go. Now you got some weight on it. But my advice, take it off, get it parallel to the ground on your right side, and then just lift it up. It's not that. It's you mean to do it? Okay, you mean to go and do that? No, because I gotta get used to this. Okay. Just I wanna make it easy for you. I understand you trying to tell me that I gotta go where I can feel the least of this. Got him? Yeah. Okay, 
sweet. All right, now the first one here, we could just go ahead and do the tire and also remove the splash guard um, oh. or the splash shield to do your fog lights. Basically like a two for one -er right here. Okay. I need the socket for this. Uh, the same, same socket that's already on there. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. Come on, buddy. Perfect. All right, that's excellent. Now, jack it up some more? Nope. Can't? Okay. Nope. All right. You're fine. Perfect. Now, okay, lefty loose, you're right headed, correct? Is it going left? Perfect. And if it helps, get down to one knee so you have to completely bend over. All you need to do is remove the five lug nuts and then that's it. Uh, just in case you guys are wondering, these are uh, neochrome uh, lug nuts. And forgive me guys, I'm a little handicapped. I'm still recovering from surgery, so I may have a little bit of a hard time, but I can't do it myself. It's just... <laughs> you got it. Alright. You're, you're clear. Good job. Very nice. Very nicely done. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and move the wheel. And then behind you, we'll get that, we'll get that. Okay. Not gonna put the wheel on it just yet. We've got this bit right here that we're gonna swap on the gun. Cause now we need to remove these screws. And this, at this point too, we're gonna go ahead and replace the uh, the fog lights as well. All right. There you go. Come back here. Got Bring it. The tire forward. You see what now? Bring this forward for me, please. For what reason? For me to be able to sit. Do it on this one then. There you go. Perfect. Anything else I want? There. What I'm gonna do here. So I think these guys gotta remove. Once these two screws are removed, we should be able to pull this panel back. Come on, buddy. Perfect. Okay. Got those two guys removed. This entire thing should come on back a little bit. Hopefully, give us as good access to the fog light because it's literally right here. Well, if you get it all the way. Yep, you're right. No. You okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. That works. All right. Now, if you want, there's a straight shot right there. Hope you guys can see that. But, uh, would you want to do it or do you want me to do it? Uh, you go for it. Okay. nice and this is the blown one see the filament it doesn't look it it looks all choppy or it, it doesn't look clean uh, that's the best way I can describe it is it does not look clean yeah cool all right so let's go see this guy real quick stay yep now Flip it. Yep, flip it. Sweet! Nice. Alright. Oh. 
Oh, she fits like a glove. Good. Oh, yeah. Now I can put all these guys back. Now, step back just a little bit. So that was that was relatively easy. Excellent. So now we're gonna put the screws back in. in there good now this one I'm quite this one I'm a little bit questionable on let's see what we got here all right if you want to come on over here and just hold the camera right there okay take it back on out and let's see what's going on here I guess it's it's right there. It's going in. That's odd. That shouldn't be doing that. You're right. It shouldn't, but I think I know why. What's the problem? I don't know. I I, I think. Let's take the other two out real quick. See if we can investigate the problem as to why it's doing that. Oh, okay. There's you got a, a metal clip that goes on here that's uh, pretty much missing. Let's see here. See if I can locate it. Maybe just hopefully it just fell in here. Yep, it did. Right here. Shing. Good enough. Got to take care of that problem. But what I find weird is that that one requires a metal clip, but the top one above it doesn't have anything. Uh, it does right there. There's actually, no. Yeah, there's actually a plastic piece with the... No, not that one. This one right here? Yeah. And you got one on the back side of it. Is it? Yeah. Oh, well, I can't see it from here, so That's my bad. That's good. That's fine. Leave him there for right now. Pull him back some. Got him squished in a little bit. Okay, that should be enough to pinch. Perfect. Now it'll sit. Perfect. Okay. I didn't go full tug on it. Yeah, I'm not liking that. What? It's acting like it wants to start to strip on me. Okay. Yeah, that's the one that was giving me issues. Yeah. Well, we're going to do these uh, lines first. There we go. That's good. So put these screws back in. Now, the one with the collar, a small little one right here with the collar, yeah. that goes on the far side. Right. All right. I'm going to step away for a quick second. Go for it. Let's see what happened. 
She's in. And she's in. Put this clip in for right now. Yeah, this guy's basically just breaking off on me. I was going to order two more, or go order like a whole bunch of those clips. Yeah, I'll just order a bunch to replace all the clips and just put yeah, all break. new ones in there so we ain't got to you know that's trash forget it, it just it's already starting to clip yeah and it's coming order all new ones and replace the clips on it that works we'll replace them as we go along yeah all right um now the fun part putting uh your uh, wheels back on her the new set so uh, but tires aren't that you know that bad Not too bad. And obviously, those are the new SIs. I don't Not new, new. Some of them got curb rash on them, but that's okay. All right. All right, so we already got a good view of how they look, or how the old ones look on here. Now, let's get up on here. See if you can get the H. It doesn't matter. I know, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm particular. I understand. Give each right on top of it. It's not gonna be much of a difference. Uh, okay, pay attention if they're directional or not. I don't think these things are. They're not. Dogs in this neighborhood never shut up, guys. There we go. I think you know what? I'm trying to find a better view without the glare. I think that's gonna be the best we can do. Now, guys, this is my daily. I do have another older Civic that is a project. So this is what I drive day to day. Between the both of us, we own what, four Hondas? Yes. All right, cool. Those guys are in. Now, hand me the impact. Valve stems come with a with the key because they don't even lock on. They lock on. Try to take them off. I have them hand screwing it. Look. Has it come off yet? Hmm, okay. actually looking pretty darn good. I like it a lot better. <laughs> oh, oh, oh wow. I will say soon when we go ahead replace, and lower it. Go ahead and lower it. When we replace the place the uh, rotors we need to do something about their rusted up caliper because I don't like the looks of that. We can just go ahead and clean that up. That looks really sharp. I like that. Go ahead. Hold on. Let me move the light bulbs first. I don't need an accident there. <sighs> uh, this is looking nice. I haven't fully understood this new jack yet. Just so. turn it. Turn it counterclockwise. Keep turning it. Put some ump behind it. Perfect. That looks sharp. Let's see if there's any of that poke. I don't know. I don't see. I think it's actually. No. No, it's out. And further? further. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Just got a tiny plenty. bit. It's closer to the strut, but it is a little bit closer to the strut, but it's not, not making much. contact. No, not by much. See how it does when turning. I think it'd be perfectly fine. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. I like that. 
later on I might consider doing suspension work to it I don't know yet haven't gotten that far on decision Gotta clean up those rotors oh well I like that try and get it to zoom in I got it nice very nice all right now go ahead and leave that right there move on to the next one I honestly kind of like those. I like them a lot better than the flower looking things. <laughs> yeah, the 2016 Honda Civic EXT factory rims are not them. Oh, these all look not nice. The like stylish, that. most stylish ones. Um, I'm lower it down. This is just done on me. I was gonna say pull up on the handbrake, but uh, it's all chunk. Okay, you're good. Down more. Good. Better. Much better. Now, you go and jack it up slowly to your leg so you don't really hurt yourself. Okay, no reason to rush. Oh, right, you're good right there. Perfect. Excellent. Wow. Oh, sorry. I'm, you're fine. Oh man, this is like... I mean... Definitely tell the wear from the front tread on the back tread. Those look freaking amazing. The back ones, yes. The front ones have less tread life, but... That's incredible. Like, I'm actually in a little bit of shock how much more aggressive they makes this car look. I'm actually very curious how it's going to be on the test drive. Now, I was getting the fog lights done. Oh, MG. I don't know what I got on it here, what? but it's, it's kind of a statue. Yeah, that looks like tar. That probably is. At some point. I think we should just do a full wash again. Do a full wax. Well, what? It's been cold, so rinse off here and there. And transition from a moving from a house with a gravel and dirt lane to a house with an asphalt driveway will help keep it clean. So. extremely tight whoever put it on there never intended for that thing to come off evidently it's, it's real nice I think it's honestly I might have to cut this guy off because I think it's actually turning the entire stem that was what it was doing on the other tire oh was it yeah, yeah. see look it's actually turning the entire stem yeah hopefully that doesn't <sighs> Throw the TPMS sensor like it did on the other tire. It won't throw it. That's a quick and simple fix. Uh, for, forget it. I'll just hold on to the one off of this one. Okay, okay. that works. Okay. It kind of came in a little bit. What do you mean? It doesn't look like it's st stuck out, sticks out as far. The front one. The front one looks like it's in though too, but and then again, I, I mean, I can tell a, a bit of a difference from of the stick out, but 
it's not enough to really notice unless you're actually looking for it. You know, and it still looks, holy cow, like, I'm honestly a little bit jelly right now. <laughs> that looks clean. Like, I like it. And yes, guys, I know there's curb rash on the tie, on the rims. I bought them like that. No big deal. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to get to the other side here. <laughs> okay. See those wheel chocks? Take those and put them on the uh, driver's side now. Here? Yes. Okay. Cool. Excellent. And yes, guys, the other rims and tires are for sale. Living for sale, I can replace the tires that are on it. Exactly. Oh, All four of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive back to the truck. Correct. I think it might be a You don't have that glare. Yeah. Yeah. Bring the camera out around here. I'll stand right over there instead. Oh. Right here? Yeah, that'll work if you want. I just don't want because the sun's directly that way at the I lens. I understand that. Here's what you can go ahead and do. Click on the click on the back on the screen itself and it should illuminate and tell, and tell you what it's looking at. Do you see it? You with the sun. You're completely black, shattered out by the sun. Okay. So, let's see here. Sorry guys, a little technical difficulty. I think I'm gonna have to move it to the front. Okay, just we'll for now. That's fine. No big deal. Sun's kind of in the way. Trial and error, guys. Trial and error. All right, there you go. That's in the front. Is it better? You can bring it up closer. <clears throat> I gotta be able to see, honey. Okay. A lot better. A lot better. Yeah. Clear. Okay. You want me to move it up some? Yeah. And go. You got it? Yeah. Cool. Nice. Yeah. You definitely need to do something with the rusty caliper before we get them. Well, oh all we can really do is just clean them up real good. Wire brush, some degreaser. Um, just paint them. Pretty much paint them. Uh, paint them black. Alright. That's what you want to do. Like, not a gloss black, but a matte black. Mm-hmm. Alright. And after this, we're going to do a, uh, after done doing these, we're going to get in the car and then do the TPMS relearn. Recalibrate them. Yeah. This thing really set it off though. It, it's kind of like it's gone from more gotten rid of the chrome to more of the uh, a blacked out. Yeah. Black. Which. That's nice. When I get the get the blacked out grill, as you guys will see, the front end grill of my car, my eye, and the eyelids or eyebrows, as I call them, whatever your preference is, is chrome. And. I'm going to turn all that over to a gloss black and blacken that out, except the Honda emblem. The Honda emblems are really the only thing I want to chrome on this car, other than the little bit that's still on the SI rims. Buddy, where you at? There's that lip point. Oh, you feel a lot, but there it is. A little bit more. 
this side and I have to get that screwdriver bit flathead screwdriver and this friend the little guy rocker okay, no question What's, I didn't see that on the other side see what unless I completely missed it what the star pat the star pat oh. in there see. so you guys have a good understanding what she's talking about she's talking about this guy that, I believe, is for your, uh, to put an extension through. Right. With a socket for your crank pulley. Okay, because I'm not mistaken, I didn't see it on the other side. Because there's no crank pulley on that side. Oh, yeah. It's just trial and error. I'm still learning about this car a little bit, guys. I'm used to the older model Hondas. No, I think you're right. I'm going through my head right now where the engine transmission sit on those things. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's figure out Again, guys, I'm still learning about the newer. This is a 10th gen 2016 Honda Civic. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna order another case, forget it. They break, they break. They don't, they don't. better got access to it I don't have to remove the entire assembly for it perfect got it out got the other bulb yes I do weird all right this is what I was talking about just gotta give you guys understanding better remove this entire assembly and this is a screw, or right there, that's the piece right there that's just free spinning. So we're yeah. just gonna have to order more pieces and actually get that thing off too. And eventually, I'll figure out what to do with all that there. We can just, but for right now, as long as it holds, it is what it is. Cool, got the bulb, sweet. Yep. These guys are nice. And the front and the sides. Crazy neighbor across the street. Right. It's the middle of it's on the it's not even spring. And trying to cut grass. Oh, let him do him. No, I know. Okay. The grass ain't even long enough to cut. There you go. There we go. Good way for that sweet spot. Sweet dog. Now that the sun's starting to go down it is getting cold. Well, now I'm thinking of like you can turn on the fog lights on to see how it looks. See how they look now. Explain to them I was telling them earlier about the chrome. Oh. Yeah, I'll we'll, I'll after we get done doing this. Oh, nice. Oh, get out. Check this out. This is nice. <laughs> I like it. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Now like I said guys, my <laughs> 
low beam and high beams are still halogen. I will replace them with LEDs. Very nice. I'm ecstatic by that. So, work in progress, as I said, work in progress. Hi, Miss Nancy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I have some of the most wonderful neighbors. <laughs> I gotta put these three pumps and screws back in, and we're good to go. Whoever, go ahead. Whoever I bought these from definitely had some inner wear on the tire. That's fine. But then again, his car did it. His tires were. I don't think you're gonna have a problem because this car doesn't have any. Uh, Suspension. Right. Correction, suspension uh, changes. Not yet, anyway. Yeah. If I decide. Just gonna say. Right. That the H is facing up. It's not gonna matter. To me it does. It's a rotating. I yes. know, but I'm protecting our. You know this. I know. The, uh, the torque wrench is already set to uh, 95 foot pounds. All right. So I gotta wait till you're done with the correct socket. Uh huh. And the lug key. Yep. Throw that in the back of the truck. You want that screwdriver? Is this guy, that's it. Yeah. Well, I had to wait on this side. I understand that. Just let me know that's all you're going to need. Now, this thing is already set, correct? Uh, yeah, it's 95 foot pounds. There you go. This thing and it turned. Okay. I don't all know right. if I messed with it. Lift it up. Point it straight up. Here, let me show you how to read this thing. All right. Here you have, this is obviously your foot side, your foot pound side. Right. Right now, it's still set at. 95 foot pounds you see the uh the 90 line right there yeah this goes to like you know this is like per pounds right this is per 10 pounds gotcha so right now set to 80 uh, 95 foot pounds if you have to turn the socket first to get it to like, kind of like pop in and go right on in there you go there you go perfect start pattern perfect I know. all right just making sure i was born at night not last night honey just making sure Wrong one? No, no. You started from the top left. You went down the bottom, so you go to the top right. Okay. Right there. There you go. I know it's a star pattern. I just don't keep track as long as it's in a star pattern. And make sure it's fully seated on the socket. There you go. I mean, fully seated on the lug. Now repeat that just to, just to double check. Turn, there you go. So you put as soon as you put on the lug nut, turn the socket to get it to lock. There you go, just like that. Perfect. Excellent. Cool. Excellent. There we go. Good job. You caught that. What's the saying my mother always says? I don't know. You tell me. 
Even a blind squirrel can find a nut sometimes. <laughs> oh, geez. Nope. Now you got them all. Now okay. you just need to recheck it. Yes. All right. I'm, I'm paying attention. I'm watching. Top one? All right. I guess it doesn't matter. See? Why this looks sharp? <laughs> Just know you want to. I know I did. Okay. I caught myself. All right, just make but sure I was you know. already in the middle of it, so right. seemed kind of redundant to pull it off. All right. There you go. Nice. Last but not least. Very nice. There we go. Now I can do step back and just do a quick look over. Man, I am not. That is freaking amazing looking. <laughs> wow. Damn. And again, guys, it's a work in progress. The low beam and high beams will be switched out. The front, the front grill, the chrome, like I said, eyelids, eyebrows, whatever your preference is to call them. All this will be switched out to a gloss black as well as this, because this here, it came like that when I bought it. And that'll be an easy fix. All this, except the emblem itself, will go to gloss black. But the emblems on them will stay chrome. All right, we're recalibrating the uh, TPMS system so that way the tire light will not come on. It's in settings, I know that for a fact. So, settings. There it goes. Why well, I brought that up, I don't know. Maybe I hit the wrong thing and wasn't paying attention. All right. I don't think it's in that. Back out. Vehicle. Teep and miscalibration. Yeah. There we go. Calibrate. Camp calibration started. Okay, right. cool. Well, we finally went ahead and uh, got the, uh, obviously we got the, the TPM system recalibrated in the car. And uh, she's going to go and take it for a quick spin. See if we see any issues, see if she experienced any like robbing of any kind going from there. But yeah. I think I can hear it. All right, see what happens when she comes back. 
Alrighty. So. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, 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 that looks good. Oh, man. What are your thoughts? I like it, but you can definitely tell that it's a, these tires are a little bit. A little bit what? There's noise than the other ones, but it's not something that's okay. an irritation. Uh, here's a little funny fact here. I think you ran over one of the tire one over the uh, uh, the clips. Right. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. I just having to hear a little crunch. It's like out of everything else. Stick in the tire, did it? Nah, it's a piece of plastic. <laughs> well, it was one of the ones you broke anyway. So. Yes, it is, and I think it's right hurt. It is. Right here. <sighs> that guy. Well, it's a good <laughs> tire. No, nah, I won't. Sorry, the inside of my car is dirty, guys. <laughs> I am a mom, so. So what do you? Th you said you, you said you like it and all. Mm-hmm. Very nice. I can... Cool. If you want, I'm just gonna get it down here too. All right. Let's see how she rides. So she got a feeling for a test drive on it. Now it's my shot. Let's see if I feel anything. Are so good. Ooh. It feels a little bit firmer. It I does. Like that. Oh, very nice. Oh, you barely. Road noise does not seem to be. It's not. I mean, for some, for me, because it's my daily. I can tell a bit of a difference, but it's not something that, you know, is an irritation. It's not something that's going to... Okay. So... Oh, you get a faster seat, though. Yes, I know. I know. There we go. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I'm, it, it feels a little bit beefier. Like, remember I told you beforehand because of the how much of a thinner tire this is, yeah. it's gonna feel like it's gonna, you're gonna handle a little bit better. Yeah, uh, I can feel it. I can definitely feel the difference. Oh yeah, it feels nice. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, she feels amazing. Oh yeah, I can feel it. it feels like it's like that slobbing is gone. Yeah. That is incredible. Oh. Speeding coming by the sheriff's department. That's kind of how we do. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. Um, and uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, be fair to share with us all your buddies. And uh, have a good one.